the inability to be yourself, I don't think there's anybody that can escape that. Growing up in a, in a bigger family, you know, five older sisters, trigger happy dad that would just go from, you know, one to volcano burial in two seconds. I learned at a young age that I just swallowed and was status quo. My voice wasn't ever heard because my voice didn't matter. What do I want to eat? It doesn't matter. Where do I want to go? It doesn't matter. You know, if I speak up on something, you know, and I think I like, I really got it one time. Like we went home, it was my parents' 50th wedding anniversary and I flew home for it. I'm an adult, I own multiple businesses. I'm like, you know, I have all these employees. So anytime you go back into a, an environment, you kind of go back into this thing. And so it's been a while, you know, I'm there and we're supposed to be making these collages of pictures for this like 50th wedding anniversary. And I'm like, like, is it okay if I cut this picture to my sisters? Like, it was just like, and I was like, what the hell is wrong with me? But you know, like you go back into the thing, but in that environment, like, I felt like I didn't have a voice. It's always about like, yeah. you know, hyper aware of everybody else's needs and unaware of my own needs or wants or mm -hmm. desires. So, you know, I still have that as, as an issue that I work through. So this isn't like all of a sudden you go through something and you're 100% healed and you're happy for life. There's always another level.